What has been the most memorable moment on the tour for you guys so far? Um, the most memorable is unfortunately not always the best. Right. We, uh, we broke down in Pittsburgh. Um, we actually broke down on the way there. And when we pulled into the venue, a security guy said, there's smoke coming out of your tire. Oh. And I thought, oh, well, it's probably the brakes because I had just been in stop and go traffic. I was a little worried, but not super worried. And we went in. But the thing was, I forgot about it for a few hours. And by the time I remembered, it was like 5 o'clock on Friday. We went to drive again. Smoke was worse. Wheels started going like this. Uh, pulled over real quick. This mechanic told us that our wheel was about to fall off. Mm. And uh, it's funny they haven't solved the wheel falling off thing <laughs> yet, you know? Right. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, so anyway, our van was stuck from Friday to Tuesday in Pittsburgh. Oh, so we like hitch rides with um, uh, a bunch of uh, buses and made it to all the shows still. But our crew had to sit in Pittsburgh in a hotel and wait. So it was, it was a, a downer, but part of, uh, part of my wonderful life of being a musician. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's touring. It's yeah, exactly. Like, it's part mechanic, part... <laughs> Part cook. Okay. Yeah, no, you're right. It's true. <laughs> Every, it's one thing after the other. Yeah, you almost have to wear different hats. Yeah. But, you know, you. Uh, what no, can I really you do. do besides playing a you know a musical <laughs> instrument. What uh, what other handy things can you yeah. do? Well, I'm really good cooking. Great. Right. Okay, you're gonna be the cook. You're no, gonna, I can do the car stuff. Great. Okay, <laughs> we we need you. Okay. Luck, luckily, musicians tend to have to do these other jobs when they're not on tour. Right. So you know, growing up in my 20s as a musician, I've done everything. Work with a lot of shovels and hammers and paint brushes, so painting all kinds of terrible things. <laughs> I can blacktop your driveway any day. Nice. <laughs> so. It's a handy thing to know. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's good. Well, um, how many years have you done Warp Tour? Uh, this is actually my fifth Warp Tour, wow. so um, it's my third time doing the entire thing, mm -hmm. and I've done like partial years tw two other times. Was there one thing that you think could be done um, to make the tour that much better? What, when, what, what um, thing would you like to see? I, I mean, I think, um, you know, they, they've thought of a lot of stuff to make it better for the fan, you know. For, for us, I mean, we'd love to have shorter drives, but what right. are you going to do? I mean, we went through uh, Ohio like six times this tour, and we're going back. <laughs> um, I, so who routed that? I don't know. <laughs> but... Um, Oh, how rude. That's okay. Um, I, uh, but we're, um, uh, but no, I mean, I think they do a great job. And, and I mean, they feed, they feed us really well, so I can't complain there. Um, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't have any complaints. You've got um, the mystery question thing. I basically uh -oh. did ten different questions, and so um, right. whatever number you get, you get that question. So All right, let's do this. Let's see what your luck is Here today. We go. I'll take this one. Number one. Number one. <laughs> what band is, or person in a band is the most intelligent on this warp tour? Like book smart or however you want to call oh, it. Oh, uh, of all the bands. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm thinking one of the guys in Lucero, because yeah. but they're not like book smart uh, necessarily. They probably are, but mm -hmm. they seem very wise. Like uh, their piano player. He, yeah. <laughs> I, I talk to him sometimes. That he just has brilliant one-liners. Oh yeah. And. Um, I'm gonna give it to him. I think he's he probably is well read actually. Um, I, I now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. And then, um, what are the plans after Warp Tour? I know you're going to Australia, which we're I'm going jealous to about. Australia. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm very jealous about that. Yeah. No, we're super excited. Um, but other than that, we're planning to actually do some new music and get it recorded and get it out there. I like the color Fred, but I love yeah. Terrible Things. That's really yeah. We cool. had a much better recording experience so. yeah no, it's, it was very good um, we'll tour later in the fall and we always love coming down here because we're an East Coast band so jutting down to Florida isn't a big deal nice but uh, but yeah we'll uh, we'll be um, we'll be back on the road soon enough but um, just check us out we're, we're making a lot of videos for our new website which is terrible things dot net mm -hmm. And, um, the yeah. Terrible Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. We have yeah. Terrible Tuesdays. Every Tuesday we put up a video of us playing um, either acoustic or loud. You know, we film either where we rehearse or other 
strange uh, locations and uh, a lot of covers, a lot of uh, unusual versions of our songs. So and some new songs as well. Oh, nice, very cool. And then lastly, what message do you have for your fans? Uh, just um, come see us play. I mean, we love to play live, and uh, you know that's to me what it's all about. I. Uh, I, um, until we figure out a better way to bring music to you, we're just going to get in a van and drive to your house. So, uh, hope you're there. See ya. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll give you uh, another great hug. Definitely. Uh, cool, cool. Thank you. And I was